Greetings from Goldie. I'm Jessica and this is Goldie, my 25 foot Airstream travel trailer that I live in full time. Subscribe to my channel, it's easy and free, to get an inside look at what it's like to live in an Airstream. I'm originally from Phoenix and I'm currently in Phoenix and here in the American Southwest we have a ton of incredible public lands for us, the public, to explore. And White Pocket is one of those places I have always wanted to visit. I've seen pictures, always wanted to go. Uh, White Pocket is notoriously hard to get to. It's in the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument in Northern Arizona. And it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, really off the beaten path. And I've heard the road eats cars. No, I'm just kidding. It's really sandy and cars get stuck. So you really need to go with a capable vehicle, ideally two vehicles with recovery gear, so that one can pull the other out if you get stuck. It'd be one hell of a bill if you called a tow truck. So the moment two of my friends with capable vehicles and recovery gear had availability on the same weekend, a couple of my friends and I jumped at the chance to go to White Pocket, finally. Even though it was January and the forecast lows were in the 20s. And keep in mind, I'm from Phoenix, and I think anything below 70 is cold. <laughs> Yeah. Our first stop was Jacob Lake to get gas. Well, actually, our first stop was on the way to White Pocket where we camped for the night. And I had the unfortunate experience of having a liter water bottle freeze almost solid next to my head in my tent that I shared with a friend. It was that cold. And that's what we call type two fun. Type one fun is fun to do and fun to talk about. Type two fun is not fun to do, but it is fun to talk about later. <laughs> so we had to do fun. Sadly, I have no footage of us freezing our butts off because I was too frozen. So at Jacob Lake, you have to stop in and try their world famous cookies. They had a fireplace which provided some glorious heat after a freezing ice cold night. I feel like this might be cheating. Cookies in hand, we hopped back into the vehicles and we're on our way to White Pocket. Cookies are breakfast. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kristen, yeah. <laughs> in the back there, the hey guys, how was the ride? Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Casualty. So we continued down to the second parking lot. This was the infamous sand hill we had heard about. The road didn't end up being as bad as we had thought based on what we had heard about it. But it was a little dodgy in some places, with deep, soft sand.
And that's when my phone died. Like, just stopped taking videos, despite deleting a lot of videos. I found out later that my drone app had actually been saving two copies of each video, despite having deleted one, it was still reserving space for a second. I didn't find that out until quite a bit later. So, I have to go back to White Pocket. <laughs> Who wants to go? We camped a second night below the Vermilion Cliffs and above Marble Canyon with the view of the Colorado, and it was pretty incredible. Still cold, but not nearly as cold as it was the first night. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. You can hit the thumbs down if you didn't. Happy trails. Go explore your local public lands. They're pretty amazing, aren't they? Stay tuned for more adventures from an Airstream at Where's Goldie? Thank you.